Hi, today um, you'll hear that my voice is a little squeaky, but I said I was going to do these uh, YouTube videos at least once a week. So pardon the voice. I, I feel great, but I just um, have this on my heart and I wanted to share it with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, your imagination. That word keeps coming up over and over for me. Your imagination. It's so integral into everything that you're doing with your business and also in your personal life. Um, your imagination, your creativity, it's all right there waiting to be discovered what you should be doing next in your business. So I'm going to give you some key things with the letters of imagine. Number one, I. Illuminate. Once you start using your imagination, you will start having a glow. You will start illuminating what it is that you're about, what's in your heart. M is for meditation. Meditation. If you meditate, on those good things that are in your life and have a heart of gratitude. So you're meditating on good things and being thankful for where you are and thankful for where you're going to be. That is part of imagination. A in imagine is accept. Accept your dreams. Don't give up on them. Don't give up on your dreams. I don't care if you're 80 years old, 90 years old, 3 years old, 5 years old. It doesn't matter. When I was about 5, I was already an entrepreneur. Asking people, knocking on doors, saying, hey, can I water your plants? Can I do this? Can I do this for you? I was always doing that. When I was about 11, I had a car wash. Accept your dreams. Don't let anybody stifle you. And tell you, oh no, you can't do that. Oh no, you don't have the education. Oh no, you're from the wrong side of the tracks. Don't listen to that. Accept your dreams. G is for greatness. Greatness starts in the mind. In the mind, our imagination, our creativity. So as we're meditating... And we're thinking about good things. That's where it all starts is in the mind. But you have to slow down all this busyness to get to that right here. Your imagination. Your creativity. I in imagination. When I was doing this I thought okay I. There's two I's. And, and I felt compelled to say Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1, 18, and this is what it says. Come now, let us reason together. Come now, let us reason together. Chapter 1, verse 18, Isaiah, right? Imagination. But let the Lord help you reason it and and, and catapult you to where you're supposed to go. He's going to give you the resources. He's going to give you the knowledge. He's going to give you what you need to get to that greatness of your dream. Never in, and imagine, is never stop believing in yourself. Never stop believing in yourself. I, You know, there are people out there with disabilities and everything that's gone wrong. But somehow they get back up and they try it one more time. You see it in their eyes. You see it in their conviction. They illuminate. And also they're excited. E in imagination is they're excited. Excite. <clears throat> they, they, they just, they're going. They're believing. That they, they, they know what it is that they're supposed to be doing. So imagine. Start here. Use your imagination. Use your creativity. 
as children, we're always coloring or we're doing make-believe or we have imaginary friends. Guess what? That's healthy. We as adults still need to be doing that. We still need to be tapping into our imagination. I'm imagining that you listening to me and myself are going to be so far beyond what we ever thought possible. Thank you. And all comments, leave below. Show some love. Subscribe. And next time, my voice won't be so squeaky. Bye-bye. All rights reserved. M&M Business Solutions. Thank you.